guys, welcome back to my channel. We are going to do a 33 week pregnancy update today. There have definitely been a few things since my last pregnancy update that have come about this even in the last couple days that I thought I could make an actual update for you. But the first thing I always like to start these off with telling you the size of the baby, the size of Nova. And right now, according to my one app, she's the size of celery. And I think that I have some in the fridge. Oh my goodness, you guys. <laughs> this is huge. Excuse this gross celery. It's probably like gone bad by now. But look at how giant that is. Like, how is that fitting in there? I don't, I just like genuinely can't wrap my head around it. So she is about 17 to 18 inches long. And she's actually reaching the point where she's not going to grow that much more. I mean, this week, the app says that she'll grow, she could grow up to an inch this week which is nuts. And then she'll pretty much be like her birth length really soon uh, because really babies are born around like 20-ish inches. So she's already almost there, which is just crazy. She's also weighing between four and like five, five and a half pounds at this point, which is also crazy. <laughs> of course, she still has some weight to gain, so it'll be about half a pound a week give or take. This baby girl has definitely been moving a lot. Uh, they say that at this point like you're supposed to do those kick counts and that's just like monitoring whether she's giving enough movement within a certain period of time. But I have found that I haven't really needed to because I'm never at the point where I'm concerned because she is definitely moving well above the like average or the needed. And her movements have become like less of like jabs and kicks more so than they are just kind of like I can feel her moving around in there, rolling around. I don't know what she's doing. <laughs> but I have noticed that she likes to be on this side more so, like her kicks tend to be over here instead of on the other side, which I thought was really interesting. But it has been super fun to watch her move around and for Caleb to see that because I feel like it's blowing his mind a little bit because every time she does like a crazy movement or like a my belly is like big in one side, he's always like, whoa, what is happening? And it's so it's fun to see his reaction. I'm gonna try to use this stack of pregnancy books for a tripod. I was brought them all out to show, we had a doula visit, uh, the other day and so I just brought them out to show her what we had. So her immune system is developing and it is coming to the point where it's not relying on the placenta or me. Um, so she's building her own immune system which is really good and is definitely important for when she's obviously born and is out in the world herself. So that's really comforting to know. And yeah, she's just growing, doing what she needs to do. Um, my last midwife appointment confirmed again that she is still head down and I asked her like how likely it is that she would move out of that position and she said pretty unlikely because once they're in that position they realize that it's um, like more space for their head and more comfortable and whatever so they usually stay and then as for me and like symptoms that I'm having uh, the weird one there are a couple weird ones that have just come on all of a sudden but my vision you guys I have been having like blurry blurrier vision like less sharp I already don't have the best eyes if I'm being honest like I wear glasses usually like right now I can barely even see myself in the in the screen like in the viewfinder but I've noticed that like watching TV and stuff like I can't really see the picture as clear so what I read on that is that essentially how your hands and your feet swell up from like fluid retention it's just that too but like with your eyes and so it's kind of weird to think about but the hope is that it should just go away after pregnancy. Um, I have heard that sometimes people's eyes can just get worse in general, so we will see, but I'm hoping not. <laughs> and then breathing. My lungs have definitely felt more crowded as she's growing bigger and everything's kind of pushing up. I am easily short of breath, and I think you guys have noticed in the vlogs every now and then I'll get a comment. It's like, oh, Ayla, you can tell you're pregnant because you're huffing and puffing, and it's very true. It is so true. There are so many stairs in this house. And then another new one is my heartburn and acid reflux. So it's weird. It's like it came on the last couple days and it just stuck. It's so funny. Every time I have a meal or eat in the last like two days, like I'm not even kidding, I, as I'm swallowing and eating, I can feel 
I can feel it. It's it's like instant. Oh, it's the worst. But then it usually goes away like not too long after I've finished eating and acid reflux, it's, it's just kind of like lingers. And so I've been trying to like do things to help me with sleeping with that, like not um, eating too close to bed and, and all of that. So that has been fun. Hey, I'm trying to film a video here. Stop growling. And as for swelling on like the hands and feet, I don't think that I have that much of it. Even after a long day of like walking around or something, I will have just like a little bit of swelling, but not that much. You guys have heard me talk about hip pain a lot and that is still going strong. <laughs> it's usually just when I'm sleeping, um, all the extra weight that is just put on my hips. And I've been doing stretches and exercises and trying to, you know, help that. And part of that has been changing like my sleeping position a little bit. But that is definitely the hardest thing. Uh, I did get a prenatal massage the other day, which it felt like it helped. And then the next day it was already over. So it's just going to be one of those things that will hopefully get better after baby is born. And I'll just have to kind of manage until then. As for cravings in this pregnancy, I like I'm not so much the kind of person who has like weird cravings, but what I am is like really suggestible. If I see a commercial for something or if someone talks about a certain food or literally if we're just driving down the road and I see a restaurant or a sign for a fast food joint, I like want whatever that is. So I'm pretty much just vulnerable and open to all suggestions at this point literally if you guys commented right now what you are eating i would probably want it and i have to go get it <laughs> so for my tummy i have started getting the linea nigra in the last few weeks and i've definitely noticed it getting darker uh it started pretty low and then it's been working its way up so it's just that like browning of the skin where you're like abs or basically separating I think is what I read and so I don't mind it at all I'm surprised how long it took to get it because I've seen a lot of people got it like pretty early on um, but yeah I don't mind it at all and I'm sure it will continue to get darker through the pregnancy and then of course it should lighten after I also have not gotten any stretch marks yet not on my belly and not really anywhere else I don't think I might have gotten a couple little ones on my chest but it's hard to tell but I don't know really if I will get any on my belly just because I feel like the skin there is really stretchy the place that I think I might get them is definitely my hips or like my inner thighs like that kind of region I feel like that's probably where I will get them but I don't know we will see as the weeks go on so like I said we had our doula visit so she does like these prenatal visits before the birth of course so we had one and we'll have one more in a couple weeks and she just came by to the house and we just went over things like the birth plan and like how we want things to go like what are our questions going forward and stuff so it was really good and nice to have that like extra time to get to know her because she's obviously gonna be a big part of our birth we've also been doing the birth class we only have one more week left which is so crazy because it was a seven week birth class and so to see all of those weeks just like fly by almost makes the pregnancy feel like it's flying by too but i'm also a little bit sad that it's almost over because i do enjoy going because i think it's like it's fun to just have something to do with Caleb once a week where it's like dedicated towards the baby and learning and there are other couples and new parents there that we can relate to so it has been good but we will have like another meeting or reunion after all of our babies are born to just kind of say like hey here's my baby <laughs> we did it <laughs> and then now i have started graduating for with the midwife to an appointment every two weeks i was going every month and now we're at two weeks and then after my 36 week visit that's like the big one where we talk for an hour we go over like everything um, for the birth and everything and then after that i will be going weekly which is crazy because then it's like the countdown to baby and it's just crazy <laughs> so as for my emotions how i'm doing emotionally i would say i'm overall really good uh but i do definitely have like moments where i feel maybe a little bit anxious mostly i think the anxiety is just feeling like i want to do everything 
and just wanting to make sure that like we're ready and that we have everything done around the house and stuff but also fighting like being tired and not actually wanting to do it <laughs> so I am really really glad that we did so much in the second trimester like working on the nursery and stuff because I feel like if we were to do it now it would be so much harder and I probably wouldn't have enough energy to even get it done but I'm mostly just really excited for her to come it's gonna be very interesting like this is a huge change of course and it's a huge new chapter and like the last five and a half years have been just me and Caleb and so now it's not gonna be just me and Caleb anymore and there's a part of me that's of course like sad about that but also because it has been quite a long time I feel like we've gotten to do so much together and I, I don't really feel like we're gonna be missing out on anything like moving forward now with a family I'm just so excited to start that life and to Ellie. But yeah, I like I was saying, I'm just excited and just really looking forward to all of the new adventures to come and a little anxious about the lack of sleep that we're about to have as well. But that's pretty much my update. I will definitely show you guys the bump now because it is growing, let me tell you. Okay, so here is my 33 week bump. And I realized because I'm wearing a dress, I can't really lift it up and show you. <laughs> So thank you so much for watching this pregnancy update. Give it a thumbs up if you are excited for Nova to come really soon. She's coming next month. And subscribe if you are new so that you can follow along this journey. Um, we also have our vlog channel. I will link that up here if you'd like to go check it out. And yeah, you don't want to miss any of the next few weeks because we're gearing up for baby to come. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.